we're continuing the quest from last episode. So last episode, briefly, we went to the headquarters of the Dark Core company and found out that they're trying to get the fifth Nahili or something like that. So yeah, that's a brief explanation. <laughs> Wow, I feel so fast. Like, da -da 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 -da. so I should talk to Lisa. Yep. Lisa, what's next? Hi, Natalia. Great to find you here. Linda will be here any second. I don't think she managed to set up a meeting with Fripp and the Druids, but she wants to talk to us. Alex should also have been here by now. That was really scary info that she had about Darko after your latest adventure at Darko headquarters. That they will actually soon be able to bring their fourth general. There is not good news. The action of Dark Core and Mr. Sands are terrible and evil. This doesn't boy well. However, we're all very concerned about poor Justin, as Justin has no more value to Dark Core. He's really in trouble. I'm afraid we don't have much time. We should probably wait. Isn't that Linda over there? I'm coming. Whoa, did you guys see that? She's in like a little flop flop. Guys, I have serious news. I don't know what she'll say actually. <laughs> hey Linda, we've been waiting for you. Alex isn't here yet, but it's a meeting time for the meeting now. What happened? Hi, great that both of you are here anyway. We need to talk. How did I go at Fraps? What happened? We can't set a me up meeting with Fripp and the others right now. Fripp is running wild with an Wild and is totally caught up in the magical workings of the universe or something like that. But we need to hurry to save both Anne and Justin. We must act now. Anne, who we really suspect is in prison in Pandoria has certainly waited long enough. But to save her, we have to do so in agreement with Fripp. Of course we can't get into Pandoria alone or without the help and support of the Druids. However, what we can do is to save Justin from his hmm, possible decimal fate. Even though he may not be our closest friend, I hope she we're just not too late. You're still timely, so there is no point blaming yourself, but I also really think that the time has come for us to take matters into our own hands and try to save Justin, whether he wants it or not. If only... I don't know what Exactly, let's go and save him. We have no time to lose. Anne has been waiting for so long anyway that a day or two won't make much difference. But Anne will be second on our list. You get guys, let's get the guy out of there. <clears throat> then we agree, let's get going as soon as possible. Just as soon as Alex turns up. Maybe she won't. <laughs> Since we're already waiting for Alex, I gotta tell you something weird. Guys, it's so hard talking. Why is that? As you know, with Circle of the Moon Powers icy visions, they are often difficult to interpret, but this time it was something that felt important and clear. Is it Catherine's diary based on Miss Catherine's diary? I don't want to worry you, but I think we're facing the start of an adventure that had a pr premonition about a vision of the future. I don't understand, perhaps to you, Natalia, <coughs> a vision? Explain what it's about. <coughs> Sorry guys, my voice sounds weird. It's about you, Natalia, and about your horse, the first horse I had in Yorvik, your love charm. I didn't fully understand what the vision showed me, but it was really strange. I tried to understand it, but it was mostly unsettling. What did you see in the vision, Linda? I don't know how to explain it. It was if you, Natalia, didn't have your horse love charm with you on, on the adventure, and that we're on now, as if, in some strange way, you were to experience the end of the world. <coughs> Excuse me. Or to be more precise, Natalia, you'll fall off the edge of the world. The end of the world, you're start starting to sound like Fripp, Linda. Do you know that? Believe me, Lisa. The end of the world, or yes, more like falling off the edge of the world. The vision was foggy, dark, and scary. Everything was... Oh, in any case, the location appears to be there at the dark core oil rig. Hmm, I'm none the wiser, but obviously it's best if you, Natalia, make sure you have your horse soft drum with you when you carry our plan planned rescue mission. Oh, why? I wanted Marble Song. <clears throat> Maybe I can save you from your predicted death, okay? Just a vision or not. Unfortunately, Linda's visions have been true before. I don't know if any of us want to risk finding out what else may happen. Wait, but... <laughs> oh, sorry, you guys. I forgot to take Marble Song with me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Then we agree on that point, but where is Alex? I'm sorry, Marble Song. 
Well, the religious rescue just to know in the end, no matter what happens, regardless of whether Fripp and the Druids have time to plan it with us or not. But Alex should be here soon. Has anyone heard anything? Okay, we can plan until she gets here. So unfortunately guys, I don't think I'll be taking um marble some today for this because I need to take a lot of charm anyway out I guess but <clears throat> I can't be bothered guys okay so Marble Song gets really tired she's in her stall relaxing she's having a chill day <clears throat> plus today I said put guys I also want to say that today is every event at five o'clock in Maryland on Cupcake server but only if you're on Cupcake server I'm pretty sure all the clubs and even if you're not a club you can still go to the meeting um we're gonna be like Sorry guys, I'm still looking at my phone. Um, we're going to be like joining and we're going to be like every club and everybody's going to get to like know each other. And we're going to, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a trailer ride or something. But that's what the flower. <laughs> Natalia, can I ask your friend, the houseman in Cape West Fishing Village, if you can definitely take the four of us to Dark Core Headquarters. We'll meet here later. Alex will have arrived by then. Okay, so we're like here. Mm, I hate going to the headquarters, you guys, it's just so annoying. Jeez, <laughs> did you just hear me on my phone? Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know he was talking, I'm sorry Natalia. Captain Bruce? Yes, he can surely help you, however, I don't know where the captain is. At the moment, I don't think even he would be venturing out to the sea in this weather, or maybe that's exactly what he's done. We'll have to ask around amongst the seamen and sailors in the harbour and here in town. Perhaps they know of the captain's whereabouts. Where's the captain? Tell me now. <clears throat> so, yeah, see, Crystal is very lucky today since she's coming with me. Captain Bruce? No, I don't know him. You literally work for him, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Yo, I haven't seen him for some time. Do you know where your stupid captain beardy does? Isn't that old sculptor out of the seas, despite the unpredictable weather? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> Guys, do you remember when I kept training like all the time? Wait, no I didn't. I don't know if I told you this guys, but I trained every single day I got a new horse just to get up to 15 but then I'm like meh. 
The old man's probably out defying the powers of nature, if I know him right. I says, oh my goodness, I need to ask more people, it's just so annoying. Can you bothered? Does it have to be the right one or do I have to ask everybody here? By evenings like me, the weather goes beyond his head. Um, okay. That's interesting. Do you think it's somebody on the brush that's gonna tell me about him? Because I don't want to spend like 60 years just like asking stupid random people. You too, do you know where your captain is? You're literally on the bridge where he was standing. You. Captain Bruce, yes, I can tell you where he is. Tell me. Captain Bruce left a few days ago to transport the horses and had been left behind on Horse Island. The horses were to be shipped to several different stables around Jorvik, but the bad weather at sea has slowed him down. <clears throat> You're looking for someone who can take you and your friends to a dark or oil rig? No, I don't think there's anyone, frankly. The weather is unpredictable in those wars this time of year. Only a sturdy barge or tanker can survive those waves. It's probably only Captain Bruce who is reckless enough to venture out under such conditions. But as the other sailors, perhaps there are other equally foolhardy captains among them, but I doubt that. Three feet... I don't know what he said. Oh, come on! Guys, I'm not even going to read what they're saying because this is so boring unless it's going to be the one that I'm looking for. Is any one of you cowards brave to take me there? You look like a good guy, huh? Will you take me there? You guys are worthless, man. Worthless. Haha, <laughs> you're asking if I can take you to the oil rig? Maybe if I had a big barge or something, haha, <laughs> but that's something I don't have. Tell me more. Tell me. Haha, no, my little number, not even if I'm going out to see at this thing of your. And the little girl parties seem to be only boats that go there all year round. We can hardly catch a left one then. Haha. Haha, no. You are your darling friends and better stay safe here and dry where you belong, at least until the weather changes. Sorry. Off you go and tell your friends about that this project is whatever. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going back to Lisa. Wait, sir. Yes. Guys, this is this thing is boring unless we're gonna do something cool. Like I wanna save Anne. Like when can I do that? Like they don't know how much I wanna save Anne from that stupid Pandorium and like, I'm so desperate to start like the freaking soul writing in Catherine's diary just to be up with everybody. Because I'm a bit behind, you see. <laughs> some people, some YouTubers, like, are literally like up. They're still doing their trainings. Wait, I just missed the boat. <laughs> Planning to do lots of missions today, but I'm not gonna record them because I'm just doing them for shillings. <laughs> and that's it. Not special or anything. Really. They're not gonna be special missions, they're just like daily ones. <laughs> I don't remember what it's what silver came up. Just take me freaking there, just please. Oh my god. <sighs> Lisa, he won't take us there. What? No one can take us to Dark Core? Uncertain weather conditions at sea of this time of year? That's the worst. We have to go there now. So how are we going to get to Dark Core then? Captain Bruce is at sea. No other sailors wants to go out and, can do and we can't wait. And where's Alex now anyway? I'm starting to get impatient. Lisa, have you texted Alex? We must take a new plan to get to Dark Core headquarters, but what did that sailor say? The Dark Core barges go all year right around? Hmm, why don't we try and borrow a Dark Core barge down at Moorland Beach to get the oil rig? 
Yes, that sounds like a good idea. It can't be that hard to steal a boat from those stupid dark horror minions, right? Let's ride down to the beach and take a look around, but we need Alex with us on this. Where is she? <clears throat> I've texted her several texts. Hmm, we'll have to look. Alex may be on Valido, but could just as easily be observation point 42. Or was she going to Marley's farm to teach her mum to ride today? We have uh, three options. We have to find Alex quickly. There's no time to lose. She'll love our plan to steal a barge. But she has to as uh, she's not replying to my text. Let's split up. I'll ride over to Valido and check if she is there. Will you land at right to observation point 42? Natalia, can you ride over to Marley's and see if Alex is there? Remember, whoever finds her first has to let the others know. Let's meet down at Moreland Beach at the barges, once we found Alex. Brilliant, see you at Moreland Beach. Guys, I toxic quick. I'm like, Doo -doo. Marley, 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 can you please be- no. Guys, I'm confused, like, who's Marley again? Is he in here? Yeah. Oh yeah, I know where he is then. Hello, take me out. Marley, Barney, and Carney. Mm, we could have just walked there, but can't be bothered. No. Yes. Oh yeah, guys, I'm not told up that's because. Today in Cupcake Server, anybody who's in Cupcake Server, you guys, um, everybody is invited, um, to, wait, okay, today is a meeting at 5 in Merlin on Cupcake Server, for people who are in the Cupcake Server for the clubs there, and for some people I'm pretty sure too, I'm not 100% sure, but you should check Flower Enigma Instagram posts, if you really want to come, like, that's what we should search for because I'm going with Emerald Doves because I'm a part of that club and I'm not a leader but no but that's my club and we're going there to to just meet people have trailer rides and do some photos like just basically meet people and have fun so guys if you're anything that's my dog like doing random stuff So Alex, you're here. <gasps> Your mom has her clay steel, that's so cute. Alex, talk to me. Hey Natalia, can you believe I managed to convince my dear mother to try and write again? Look over there. Woo, yoo-hoo, mom. Looking good. Wash those legs. Shorter reins, mom, shorter reins and straighten your back. My mom hasn't ridden since she was little, so I feel so proud that she listened to me and go back on a horse again. I hope that she and I will be able to go riding to high and have fun together. I think that mom needs positive things to focus on in her life. By the way, what are you doing here, Natalia? Aha, uh -huh, of course, I forgot I was meeting you today. Rescue Justin? Yes, why not? And some frap meeting didn't happen. That doesn't surprise me. Frap seems more and more pensive. It worries me. And then we are going to hijack a barge? Haha, <laughs> great fun. However, I've heard that security has been improved at Dark Horse down at the beach, but we'll see. Natalia, I'm coming to Merlin Beach to help in a few minutes, but I need to finish here with my mom first. I'm texting Lisa and Linda right now explaining the situation. Oops, I have missed a whole lot of messages. You ride on ahead to them and I'll come along later. See you. Okay, bye bye. Oh, we bang into the wall. So yeah guys, as I said, see Crystal today is very lucky because she's literally like in a Soul Rider episode and I don't do that with other horses except Marble Song. Which is very like special then. Did you hear that see Crystal and Bluey? Today is a special day for you guys because you're doing Soul Rider with me. Well unless I'll have to get Love Charm to get to the boat with me but I don't think that's going to be really today. I wish I could be Marble so that you choose your horse to do soul riding with. Merland, Merland, Merland stables. Guys, I hate that they deleted like um. What was his name again? Where Josh stood to the western ranch. Like you can't go back there for free anymore. You need to like travel on a trailer or just like from 
or just travel there with just right there. But yeah, I'm going to the beach right now to hijack somebody, <laughs> somebody's boat. Oh, we just flipped down a hill. Hi guys, are you guys here? Oh, you're down here. Oh, I remember when the guy was glitched out here when I had to like sneak into the boat and I had to go to the fridge. Wonder how I did not freeze yet. And here, Linda. There you are. We were actually getting a little worried that something had happened as we got Alex's messages a while ago. While Lisa and I were waiting, we went over the plan. It seems that security has been improved here. There are more guards than before. Tell me your opinion, Lisa. Maybe not as easy as we thought. Lots of guards now. While we are waiting for Alex to finish with her mom's writing lessons, we can do some recon. From a purely practical point, how do you actually steal a bard? Let's pile on them first, Natalia. Linda, if you stay here and wait for Alex, Natalia and I will ride along the side of the beach and do some reckon. I don't think they will pay much attention to a couple of girls riding along the beach. But we can't look, look too curious or get too close. Meet you there, Lisa, I guess. Meet you there. Wait, where am I going? Don't go there, I don't want to be caught. Right, 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 right. Oh, Alex is here. Now that Alex has joined us, we're ready to go on. How did you go for it, Natalia? Did they find any useful? It seems that all the barges are pretty well guarded. Yes, Linda, do we have a plan? It looks harder than we thought. Dark Horse presence is overwhelming and there's a lot of activity on the beach. There are far too many guards down here there. Even if we manage to snatch a bar, I have no idea how to get started. I think that perhaps we need to think about this point. What do you think? Well, let's, let's tackle one problem at a time. We can't just gallop up to the barge and take it because we can't start it anyway. In any case, we shouldn't see starting the barge as a major problem if we manage to get on board. I promise that I can hotwire it. I might just need a little time, but no, we can't just storm the barge and think that we can sail away just like that. Hmm. But how do we sneak on board unnoticed? If we could just fool them somehow by wearing a disguise or something. Haha, <coughs> like, haha. I don't like how you think, but I don't think they are stupid that they will be fooled by us wearing dark glasses and green coats. I have an idea. Miss Holsworth who lives in the red cottage over there is our solution. What do you mean, Linda? I once borrowed a book from Miss Holsworth that was about transformation, metamorphosis. Meta what? Metamorphosis. The book was about how you, how you could transform yourself into someone else with some sort of potion. The magical disguise is easy to see through for, um, for those who really are sharp, as I recall. In this case, it could really work. <clears throat> is it even possible? It's worth giving you a try. Miss Hallsworth lives right there. I'll, let's ask her. If we're lucky, she might actually be able to help us with a potion that turns us into dark core minions. Effectively, even enough so we can sneak on board their barge. I need to go on. Okay. If that's worse, we can actually transform into dark workers. It shouldn't be too difficult to get on board and take control of the barge so that we can go and pick up Justin. Come on, there's no time to lose to Miss Holdsworths. Last one there is a rotten egg. That's not fair. I have to be stuck here and you guys can really like, have a head start here. It automatically makes me like a loser. That's not very fair. Yo, you could have said start or something and let me go here too. Miss Holdsworth. Talk to me. Good afternoon, my dears. Why are you all doing here together and what's the hurry? Let me through, Alex. Alex, you have a good memory, and I remember it was a while ago that you borrowed and read that book. Read that book. But to answer your questions, 
Yes, there are some ways to disguise yourself using magical transformation. Pay attention. Your plan is bold but could work. The metamorphosis, the transformation is however quite unstable. Unfortunately, the magic is easy to save through. If you are on the lookout, moreover, moreover the effect doesn't last for long, but just like you, I think that these guys working for Dark Core down on the beach are pretty gullible anyway. There is a lot for it to prepare. I am missing a few ingredients. Of course, Miss Holdsworth, we can help you prepare whatever you need help with, and we can pick up the stuff you are missing. Thank you so much. Now that I'm missing three ingredients. The first is ice vessels from the frozen parts of the valley of the hidden dinosaur. The second is one pour with a light reflection of a willow of the wisp from the cauldron swamp. The third ingredient is an alligator that can be found on the rocky beaches of South Hoof. The places are really scattered about. How about we split up so we can gather the ingredients faster? Yeah, let's do that. I can stay here forever. I can wait for Pin to take the ferry to South Hoof and get the algae. Cool, Tinkan and I say to the Red Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur and look for the ice vessels, aren't we, Tinkan? Probably, Natalia, you are right to the Cauldron's Woman Golden Hills Valley and fetch this one board then. See you later then. What about Linda? Are you gonna stay here? Okay, cool. What are you going to do, Linda, huh? Now we know when we have to get there in the process of doing that. Lisa and Alex are ready, already on their way. Miss Horsworth, what can I help you with? Natalia, I'm helping Miss Horsworth with the preparations to save time, but you're right to Golden House Valley and the Cauldron's Book to get this one port with the reflection of Willow the West Pennant. Watch it so you don't fall in when you're collecting this one port, and above all, don't come into contact with the Willow the West Pennant itself. It likes to lure people, visitors, and the deadly one port. Don't let yourself be fooled. Finding a place where there will be a little of wisp as reflected in the black war shouldn't be hard, it's just a matter of finding a good place with a good angle towards glowing willow the wisp. Here, take this glass bowl to collect the war. See you back here again soon. I sure will, Linda, I sure will. So, Golden Hills Valley. My voice sounds so bad. <clears throat> I never even drank anything today. Let me have this over with one. Oh my goodness. I don't know why, but I always call Jasper's Pumpkin Farm the old Jasper's Pumpkin Farm. Oh, let's try just like. Going to the swamp. It's an annoying freaking swamp. To the swamp, to the swamp, to the swamp. We're turning into our beautiful farm, and where the heck am I even going? Like, wait, it's up here, yes. Come on, Crystal, you're special too. Wolf, 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 wolf. <laughs> Guys, is there some kind of way to get rid of these wolves or something like that? Because they can annoy them, but... I probably know what the quest is about, but I probably can't be bothered doing it. That's the, the, that's the problem here. I hate when it's so dark, like I can't see anything at all. You have now reached the cauldron swamp, better be careful. Miss Halls of me swamp over the corner. Can I fill it in up from my horse or? I think I see a willow wisp. No, I just totally went in the war. Guys, I don't get how did I get it? Oh, where is it now? Did I just wait for it to come closer? Or? 
Hey, well, the West, come here. Wait, I need to capture more than one. Guys, I suck at that. It's like we're gonna be here a while. Well, OS, please don't do this to me. I really need you in my freaking life. No, 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 please. 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 Oh. No, 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 no. Why is it so hard? Probably only for me. I just really want to finish this stupid quiz. The stupid quiz. Can I capture you now? Why can I capture you? Like, how can I capture you? Like, what's happening? Oh, wait, do I need to go up there? This is what I'm supposed to do. Don't get this. Oh, I'm supposed to catch the ones that have, like, the little light fang. Do they run away immediately if I go there, or can I just like basically catch them? You're not gonna lure me in the war. Get in here, you little rascal. Wait, am I supposed to get the willow wasp in here, or is it just the swamp war? Guys, and I've been just like running around to just get a stupid like light bulb and willow wasp. Wait. Shit. That's the easy way of getting transported back. Like, that's what I do. If I have to go back to Merland, I'm going back to Merland. Like, this is the easy way to go back. Please, I want to save Anne from Pandoria. I don't want to do this. I don't want to save even. Why am I even supposed to save Justin? He's nothing. Thank you, my dear. Find droplets. The others are here already, so we've been waiting for you. Yeah. Well, this is shimmering, shimmering, shimmering. I don't know how you say. In a cauldron, I have something to tell you because I have something very special for you. Listen carefully. They have a, they have a price for me. I have a dozen of sleep bombs that you can have. Perhaps you've heard of the sleep bombs that many witches and shadow sorcerers use. These are of the same sort. You throw the glass bowl at whoever you want to fall asleep. Oh, that's perfect. These will be great when they come to free Justin. We have no idea what will happen to us there. These will come in very handy. Exactly. Use them with extreme caution and only if you have to. Keep them for as long as you can. You never know when you will use them. Yes, and if your disguise doesn't work, then you have plenty of the help of these sleep bumps. Yes, it feels safer than you have them and you know that you can defend yourself probably if you need to. It will keep me calm during the night. I can carry all the sleep bumps in the meantime. Thank you, Lisa. Well then, yeah, well then here you are, Lisa. Here you go, Lisa. More like you, don't drop them or bump into anything. If any of the balls break, anyone here will fall asleep straight away, and it could actually be dangerous. Please just mount your horses now. I thank you for our tasting. Do 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 do. Am I gonna be a weirdo? I think everything is ready now. Just mount your horses and come closer. Oh, it's a bit tricky to get it done so quickly for you, but you know what, my friends thanks to Linda here, we won't have to wait until tomorrow. Everything is ready, but the drink won't taste very nice. Be careful now, take a little step to check the effect. Remember to focus on the person you want to be disguised as when you drink this, as the person you're going to be look like. Thanks so much, Miss Hollsworth. Let's check that this actually works. Remember, only a small step and focus on the dark core minions. Okay, on three. Yes, one, two, three. Now we'll see. <laughs> We're drinking for our nose, it looks like a... Oh, Linda! Lisa! Me! Justin! Alex? Haha, <laughs> but Alex? Oh no, sorry, I started thinking about Justin, so we're going to rescue him. That wasn't the intention, haha, <laughs> I'll try again. 
Oh, I'm an old man. Free there. Testing completed. Alex, we were we looked like mirrors. It works really well. Next time I'll be more careful. I'm really focused on the right. Uh I need to go on my horse. Hurry up, woman. Crystal. It's gonna be dangerous out there, just so you know. Linda, tell me everything. Thanks so much for your help, Miss Holsworth, and an extra fact, thank, thank, big thank you for your sleep. For, big thank you for the sleep bones. We really have to go now. Natalia, Lisa, and Alex, now we'll ride down to Moland Beach. Let's go steal a barge. Yeah, we're the little rebels. Let's go, guys. Let's steal the barge. Guys, wait for me. Don't leave me behind. Gosh, you guys are so quick. Oh, damn it. Guys are ready to be an ugly old man. Okay, everyone, it's time. This meant everyone. Wait, will I get my sea beautiful sea crystal back? You see here with, um... Comet. Don't know what his name was. The plan is for Natalia and Lisa to walk up to the garden. Lily explained they have been given orders from the highest authority to transport our four horses to the headquarters. Well, you are talking, Alex and I will board the barge and with our horses and try to start his barge engine. When you have finished chatting to the guard, you'll board with the, your horses, okay? Is everyone ready? We'll only get one shot at this. Remember that we have to focus on the right person now. I'm ready. Good, I'll count. One, two, three, drink. Go, 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 through my eyes. Go, 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 go. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I, I'm gonna have to like walk like this because... Okay, I'm gonna have to... Wow, well, I look so weird. Imagine if we had to actually walk like this. Lisa's looking better than I. Stop, who are you? What do you want? What, you're, tra what, you're transporting horses? Worker, hashtag 137 here. Yes, I'm bringing new orders. <laughs> new orders? What's orders? Hashtag 73 yes, then has to transport some horses. <laughs> A barge to transport horses. I'm just going to check the papers. Well, never mind that. It can be important. Wait, is what supposed to be happened? Yeah. See ya, suckers. <laughs> Wait, are they still not asleep? Oh, these guys aren't. That was cool. So I used a couple of sleep bombs. They obviously work well. Watch out, there's more cars running over from the beach. We have to defend the boat from here. We can get on the boat right here. Natalia, here, take a bunch of the sleeping boats. Let me keep the guards away from the barge. We're struggling to get the barge started. I'll fix that soon. Stay strong, keep the guards away from us. Lisa, Natalia, watch out, lots of guards are coming along the beach. Keep them away from the barge. Throw super muscle.
Am I supposed to knock out all of them? We need more time, can you put it Access that would feel like maybe we can on the spanner. Oh, so we're supposed to knock those guys out. Yes, we got the engine started. Come on, everyone. Good work, Alex. Natalia, Lisa, we got the boat started. Go on board now. We can't, there's too many of them. We will never make it unless you all want all these cars on board too. Go now and we'll try to stop them from following you. Go to Farpinta Harbour. We'll see you in Farpinta. This was trickier than I thought it would be. Okay, see you later at Farpinta Harbour. Because I've only a couple of sleeping bombs left. They got the bar started, but now we're left here and we have no sleep bombs left. This is no good, no sleep bombs left and no more and more and more cars. We have to run. Come on, Adela, I have to try to shake them off. We run in different directions. Take her right up there, okay? See you for Pinta Harbo later. Oh my god. Okay, every everything is fine. I just can't like, get in touch with them. any here left right like why would they be here then you to go all the way to for pink tunnel yeah i think i do wait was that a guard there i never noticed then see oh yeah they're all the way up here but they're not gonna be here anymore come on crystal i know we are on level seven but we can still do this we do think this will give us XP because if it will, then that's good. Wait, what? Wait, oh my god, I just got just stuck here. I just got just stuck. What am I talking about? Just stuck. Yeah, I just got just, just distracted. Run, run, run. I told you guys this was a bad idea, Linda, Lisa, and, and Alex. We're going down the ship in a rocket ship. I don't think they'll be here anymore, right? Like, why would they be in for Pinta? Wait, that way? You never told me. I need to run, 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 run. Oh my goodness, run, 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 run. Feels like we managed to shake them off. That was really close. I'm so annoyed that we had to use all the sleeping sleep bombs. We were lucky to manage to shake off all the dark core guys. Lend us in a message. They're hunting for another bar. You have to take a detour, so they'll probably not get here until tomorrow morning. Unfortunately, we can't do much b more before Linda and Alex pick us up tomorrow. So now and I actually just have to avoid all dark core underlings and wait until tomorrow. Lay low, don't be lay any dark core guys next to you. Make sure you rest up early tomorrow and we won't be able to rest until Justin has been saved and we're all back in safety. Okay guys, so the, I think this is all of the episode. Thank you for joining today. I'll definitely take marbles on the sim unless I'll have to take a lot of and I don't get a choice. 
And remember, if you liked the video, remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys later.